What's there? Nothing's there. Nothing's there, baby. I cannot believe it is 67 degrees outside on December 31st. And that, up. Oh, excuse you. Yeah, you know better than that. It feels so nice out. But that's going to change. Tomorrow, it's supposed to drop to like 18. Maybe some snow. We will see. I'm not that concerned about tomorrow. It's the day after. It's 10 degrees. And then a few days later, 9 degrees. So I'd say time to go ahead and get some mulching done. Yep. I don't think I have ever been able to go this long without getting the mulch down before. Almost January. Typically, like the week of Thanksgiving, which is the last week of Thanksgiving, not last week of Thanksgiving, last week of November-ish, sometime around there, that's when the mulch has to go down. See, even after I cut the bananas back, they've done some growing. <laughs> We've had so many warm days. It's very weird. And look at this one. Look at that. Still nice and firm. This is a fairly warm little corner over here, though. With 10 degrees and 9 degrees, I'd say I should probably pull... All the palm trees inside just to be safe yeah, i might focus on that tomorrow right now just getting some mulching done. oh but also hi hey what's up garden friends jeff here has a be doing hope you're doing well i'm great this isn't really going to be much of the vlog here just starting off with all this because doing some gardening stuff but nah there are probably going to be some other things going on i actually don't know families in town we haven't celebrated christmas yet so we're all going to be together tonight and tomorrow doing all the festivities and the gifts and all of those things on January 1st, December 31st and January 1st, and then, you know, just hanging out with family, doing family stuff. So I don't really know how much more there will even be to this vlog. Now, that's enough talking. I gotta get some work done. Gonna do some mulching and then maybe, I don't know, hopefully we get to see some snow. I really hope there's snow because if it's gonna be cold and nasty outside, it might as well be pretty. Hey, pumpkin. What's all that noise? What's all that noise? Really? He <laughs> just let you out with that face. He's so cute. All right, fine, Turbo. I'll come out with you. It is a beautiful day. And many, many, many days later from when I started this video. My bad. Nice bow. Very nice. Good stretches. Well, a lot's happened. Mostly just Christmas, New Year's. All those things, got all the mulch down. Did have a couple of days where it was like, I think the low got down to three degrees one night and four degrees another night, so had to frost cloth the sable miners and the needle palms, but no damage. Everything seems fine, just fine. You better keep your face out of there. Don't eat dirt. And what did I say in the beginning of the video? It was like 67 degrees outside, and then, you know, got cold again. And now it's nice and warm again, it's like 58. Then maybe we're going to get snow. We didn't get the other snow. There was a very light, light blanket of snow, but like you can see right through it. It didn't count. They've forecasted snow like four times. It hasn't really happened. From what it looks like, I was trying to see what Turbo was looking at. I don't know where he went. Actually, it might get like three inches or so on Saturday that this video comes out. I'm so excited. I hope it happens. This entire video is just me talking about how I really hope it snows. I want snow. Turbo. Oh, you playing with an ice chunk? Pulled a chunk of ice, really gross ice, out of a water bowl. Uh, there's nothing going on. Family was in town. They took off a few days ago. I came down with strep throat. So hence why this video is going to be pretty short because throat's still tender. Antibiotics are really doing a good job though. As soon as I started those, like within a day, I started feeling much, much, much better. I don't want to push it and just talk and talk and talk and talk like I sometimes tend to do and then have a 45 minute long video. Though I know some of y'all love that. I'm sorry. We can't do that yet. Hopefully next week, all of the videos, all the stuff I filmed back in October to go throughout November and December and early January, those are all done. So from here and on, it's going to be all current videos. That was kind of fun. I enjoyed it. I thought it was nice. Just a little bit of a relief getting to have those look backs to when it was pretty and colorful outside and warm. And it was fun seeing the clips of Turbo, even just two and a half months, months, <laughs> two and a half months ago and how much smaller he was and more, more maintenance. You better get off of there, Turbo. Get off of there. You know better, get off. He's come such a long way, haven't you, baby? I don't know if you noticed when I was in the kitchen, the puppy gates are down. We didn't took him down. There was no reason. He has free range of the house now. It's been perfectly fine. There's a perfect little angel. What are you doing? 
Stop it. Of course, as I say that, he's gonna start chewing on a plant. No, you're a good boy, good boy. Yeah, that's all that happened. It was just some mulching. I did try and make the most out of that nice day that we had. What was that, like a week and a half ago, two weeks ago when I started the video. Got a lot of pruning done, a lot of stuff cleaned up. I know it doesn't look like it because it keeps getting windy and stormy and rainy, so things get messy again. But, like, all the pruning is done. Pretty much, almost, actually, yeah, pretty close to everything's done out here that I like to get done for spring. There'll be more tidying to do, you know, because leaves keep falling and those things. So I'll need to get and clean all those things up. But as far as, like, old plants, all the annuals, everything, for the most part, with the exception of one little area, everything's cleaned up and ready to go. So as soon as it warms up out here, it can just start getting right to it. And I love that. I love that. It makes the spring so much more enjoyable when it gets nice out and you can just come outside and get right to work and not have to focus on cleaning up all the stuff from the prior season, which is what I tend to do. It's a rare occasion that I actually come out here and make sure to get everything cleaned up during the winter time so that I have a nice clean slate to work with when it gets nice out. Hi baby, right after I said that, Turbo made sure to let me know that I still haven't cleaned out this pot. I started to, this one and then that one. I did a pretty good job cleaning it up. But I noticed that the some of the bulbs that were in there, the tubers, right, the, the roots of some of the plants were still nice and firm, like from the baju bananas. So I was like, well, I should probably just leave those be because that extra stuff in there is gonna provide some protection so that maybe if they survive the winter, then that, that will be, a, it'll be, it made sense in my head. Did, just trust me, it's fine. What's left in them, I've intended on being annuals, but they still have some firmness to them. So I figure, may as well give them a shot and see how they do. If they didn't weigh quite so much, those pots are huge. They're like 34 inches tall by, I think, 26 wide, maybe 28. They're big pots. And they're about halfway full of gravel to keep them from blowing over during the storms. If they didn't weigh so much, then I would move them to a sheltered spot and protect them, but I'm not, no, I don't, I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna risk breaking them, because you break one, then what do you do, right? I already had one break last year and was lucky enough that it was able to glue it back together and have it still look nice, but I don't I don't wanna push it. I have some pots to sort through over here. Actually, I have a lot over in the corner. That's always the thing. I like to go through and see which ones are like a shape or a size that I might wanna keep, and then the others I take over to the recycling. There's a nursery down the road that has a big bin where you can drop off your pottery and the plastic pots that is, and they'll take them to, I think it's the botanical gardens. And they get reused. I'm pretty sure it's what they do. I'm not positive. A few plants got left out here that were not supposed to be out here. So I'm surprised that they're still doing well. This is a uh, Fatsia, no, it's, yes it is. This is the Fatsia spiders web. So that got saved, I think, by being underneath a pile of leaves, which is <laughs> why it got missed. Same thing with this oleander here. Doesn't look in too great right but like i said we had a night where it was three degrees another night where it was four degrees and so i'm i'm shocked that there's still any foliage on these period the fatsias and oleanders 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 they can take quite a bit of cold but that's down into the single digits they normally will defoliate by then they won't necessarily die but they'll usually lose all their foliage so that's good they're in a sheltered spot and then having a sclepius here that I meant to bring in and I didn't. I don't really need to because I have tons of seed and perennial Asclepius, but since it still has some green in it, eh, I don't know. I, I, that one might be done. But these two, they need to come inside. Oh, and I almost forgot. Look at this bird feeder. How beautiful. Isn't that just gorgeous? This was a Christmas gift and I absolutely love it. It's one of those ones where it has the bars space fairly close together, so it's mostly just for the songbirds, which is fine. I have lots of other feeders out here. But it has that beautiful, like, fake patina on it. It's so cute. And there's holes in it. I don't know if you can see the holes. There are some tiny little holes in there for drainage. That is a pet peeve of mine with bird feeders, when they don't have any kind of holes for drainage. Um, excuse you. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Not for you. You know, it's when it rains. Want some kind of safeguard set in place that the mush just doesn't collect in there and you end up having to like scrape out nasty bird seed paste. Ugh. I do not enjoy doing that. This is, this is not a very good bird feed. This is mostly just corn. Well, the squirrels will at least enjoy that. That is way too much corn. It didn't need to be any corn period in the bird feed. That's what happens when you ask somebody else to pick up a big bag of bird feed while they're out running errands. I just think they got the cheapest bag possible. Yeah, there we go. Got a couple of feeders hung up, need to refill the suet. And see in here, this is what I've typically been using, which is one that's made for like 
the local birds, mostly a blend for cardinals and songbirds. That's a drastic difference from the other stuff. The squirrels were like, I have a friend who has chickens. Maybe I'll see if she wants this stuff and get something better because I do feel, well, eh. I, don't know, I don't feel great about giving them this junky food over here. My camera's being stupid right now. It's doing this thing where the screen keeps going black which it does when there's a sensor on it. With the sensor, it knows that you have your face up against the viewfinder, so then the screen goes black. Out of my face up against the viewfinder. It's like half of what I've been doing out here, I haven't even been able to see. Just open that's in focus. If not, sorry, 2022, and uh, <laughs> nothing to change there. Just going with the flow. It seems to be catching shadows. I think that's what it is. It's when I'm towards the sun. Yeah, okay, anyways. I like this bird feeder. I'm not crazy about the color, but well, I won't be able to do this with one hand. At least I doubt that I will. Maybe I can. Yeah. Isn't that fun and easy? So we need to refill it. This whole thing just pops out and you just scoop the food up and take it and snap it back in there. Nifty. I like that. Can I get it back in with one hand? That, I do not know. I don't think so. That might be pushing it. I should probably use two hands for this. He did not care for those sirens. It's different. Usually, you can always hear them. There's some busy roads not too far away from here, but there aren't any leaves on the trees. So the sound really carries through. You can hear everything going at the high school, and then there's a elementary school nearby. Lots of noise. It's not bad noise, but things you can't usually hear. <laughs> Is this exciting? Bird feeders? I don't usually talk about them because one, it's one of those things where there tends to be a lot of criticism behind how you do it and what kind of seed you use. Like I said, I don't, I'm not a fan of that mix over here. This is a good blend though. So I want to try and look through my internet history, see where I ordered that from so I can get some more of that. Cause that cracked corn stuff, that's, eh, I don't want to use that. Especially in this feeder with those grids in it cause the squirrels can't get to it. So if the squirrels could get to it, I'd be okay with it cause they, they would have a blast eating that cracked corn. Pretty fatty, but it's winter. It's, that's probably okay as long as it's not the staple of their diet. But that's got those bars in there to keep out the big birds and the squirrels. So yeah, I don't know about that. Probably not gonna work out. So yeah, I'll try and figure something else out there. Been getting the pots organized over here. Cause I was thinking about doing the winter sewing. You know, people do it in like the gallon water jugs, milk jugs, that doesn't work for me. Never has. And I think that that's because I live someplace where it can be, well, as I've talked about, it can be three degrees one day and 60 or 70 the next day. And when it's 70 degrees or even 50, heck, even 45 in those domes that are closed off, those plastic domes, it gets really hot in those. So I tend to always lose a lot of the seedlings, but if I were to do it in open pottery, that'd probably work okay. I have to water them a heck of a lot, which you know, I don't know if I want to do that. Uh, this is something I'm thinking about. Either way, they're cleaned out and ready to go for spring, which I like. That makes me happy. Oh, and the palm trees. They're inside. It, I could have brought them back out, but then it's like a chance of snow and sleet the next few days, which the snow, the windmill palms, they don't care. They don't care at all. They never skip a beep. I just figured they're heavy. They're already in there. May as well just let them hang out in the gross space. Speaking of gross space, we should, let's, let's go back in there. Let's go look at the space. Oh, everybody's all snuggled up and cozy in the sun. Hi, Punkin. Punkin, you wanna say hi? Wanna say hi? It's been a while. Yeah, you're so cute. You little fluffy Punkin. I'm sorry. How could I forget? You have to do something for it. There you go, good boy. Good boy. Oh, and I got all the Christmas stuff put away from over here. And then I made another mess. I'm like moving things through and organizing them. Another awesome present, look at this. Look at this. You know, I love my big glass cloches. This is, oh, this is spectacular. I think it's 16 inches at the base. I don't know I'm gonna put in it yet right now. I'm gonna just toss some stuff in there, but this is, oh, oh, I'm gonna have fun doing something with this. And a tor you know what? I don't know if this music, I don't know if that's copyright or not. Shut up. Yes, I know Christmas tree's still on. Like I said, I've been sick. Just started to feel better. Where's the on switch for this thing? Oh, there it is. Uh, fine, little tornado lamp. It's the little things. I love it. Oh, and I got a bag of googly eyes. So we've been sticking googly eyes on everything, because why not? They just make everything more fun. It is kind of loud. But I mean, it's a, it's a kid's toy. It wasn't meant to be nice. It's just fun with the colors and the things. I enjoy it. And the batteries last a long time, too. Let this run for almost a full day. Still, plenty of battery life in there. Uh, what were we doing? I can't remember what was happening here. Oh yeah, grow space. Oh, and here too. 
you can't see it because of the sun, but the Christmas stuff. It's all put away. Still have an amaryllis blooming, though. And have a bud coming up on another one, and I think... Now the other one's done. And let's all back like you can't see anything. That doesn't matter. No space. Well, nothing's happened out here. I feel like maybe I accidentally built this up. I didn't mean to. Nothing's changed. Except that there are more plants in here. All the cold hardy plants, so the oleanders, the rostratas, yuccas, those, and then the windmill palms are down there. And European fan palm fatsias and butias down there. So those are in here taking up more space, but they don't stay in here all winter, just when it's below like 15, something like that. I've just been kind of lazy because of the whole entire being sick thing, so I didn't move them back out. And I'll probably go ahead and wait for this front to move through. Maybe Sunday I'll move them out, see how cold it's going to be. And just want to look at the forecast. But otherwise, nothing's changed out here since the last vlog, which was a while ago. It felt weird not uploading a vlog last, was it last weekend? No, it was the weekend before. I got a couple more kangaroo pufferns. Because I, I can't help myself. I just, I want them everywhere. They just smell so fantastic. Yeah, the last thing, the last vlog was setting up those shelves, which is working out great. Like I said, I just, I haven't been out here. I had the family in town and then felt horrible and slept for several days. So looking forward to doing some things with this area. Still going to take it easy for a couple more days though. The reason that I haven't really moved or arranged the plants, I pretty much just brought them in here and was it? November 1st, October 31st, something like that. Then I was like, okay, they just, they're just gonna have to hang out where they are. Because I was waiting to pick out a heater and then to get a heater and have an electrician come out. Uh, I have heaters, but they don't, I, I've talked about it so much. I don't really wanna go over it again. You can watch one of the old videos you wanna know what I'm talking about. A large heater to go up there, something that will heat the entire garage so I don't have heaters laying around all over the place down here. I don't like it, it's dangerous and not very, efficient like at all and it's got noticed that the heater that i picked out should be here monday and then the electrician's coming out wednesday and hopefully he'll be able to get it installed i have a feeling it it might not be one of those things that's so simple i don't that's maybe just my attitude maybe i just like to assume that things will be more complicated than they are i really don't know but they have to like run a new line out from the street down into the basement and put in a new box and then somehow bring a line up from the basement down there all the way up here and then it has to be hardwired in there are permits involved and so maybe the new heater will be installed next week at the very least it'll be here and we can look at it and then be like oh look at it it's pretty i'm excited about it because one i end up getting a nicer heater than what i had planned on partially because all the other heaters that like every time i narrow it down to a few and then i pick one out it would be sold out and then all the shipping delays and everything so it's so one of the reasons that this has taken so long uh and i finally just went with a brand where i was like hey these are sold all over the place so I can trust the reviews a little bit. We'll talk about that when the heater comes here. Just know, super excited. Cannot wait. It changes things out here drastically in so many different ways. One, safety. I just don't like having the space heaters out here. I have them run to very, very heavy gauge. I think 10 or 12 gauge extension cords that were stupid expensive. <laughs> had no idea how expensive those cords were until last year. It's worth it, right? For safety reasons, they should be on a very nice heavy gauge extension cord. Though technically I don't think they're supposed to be on extension cords, period. There's a lot of water in this area with all the watering and the misters and humidifiers. I haven't done that yet, but typically that would have been set up by now. And that doesn't go with space heaters. So anytime I water, I have to go through and unplug them and move them and hang the cords up high. It's just a whole process that gets old after a while. And my breakers are just done. They are overrun at this point. So it's like you plug in one thing out here and they trip and you have to go all the way down the basement, reset them. It's a huge pain during the holidays because the Christmas lights outside can't be on at the same time with the heaters. At least not the heaters are running at full blast so they can go at 750 watts or at 1500 watts. If I tune them down, it's okay. And I have them spread out. So only one is actually hooked up to a breaker that runs the Christmas lights. This one, I ran a cord all the way outside to an outlet outdoors that has nothing else on it. That's only tripped one time, which I assume is a weather thing. And it's good that they trip. That's a safety feature. I get that. But it gets really old and annoying after a while. And the cords, there are cords all over the ground in here. I don't like it. Like I said, I have to pick them up all the time for safety reasons when I water. It's gonna free up space. It means I can put more lighting out here. Cause that's, people try and send me grow lights and want videos and I like I, I can't I don't <laughs> I'm out of electricity 
not possible. And I probably will still say no, because most of those lights are just absolute garbage for what they're charging for them anyways. Just being completely honest there, at least the companies that have contacted me, I don't care if they hear me say that, it's true. Not all of them, but a lot. It doesn't, I'm not naming brands right now, so that doesn't matter. But should I want to, I have that option. I can upgrade my lighting over here. I can get this up and running again, because I can't even have a pump hooked up right now to keep that water circulating to water the plants with. It's not even an option. Once the heater's here, I'll be able to do all kinds of things. Maybe put a waterfall in here, like I had a few years ago. Okay, just realized, still haven't made my point yet. Never put the plants to where they need to go this year because I've been waiting for the heater to come. Because when the heater gets here, with the, they're going to have to do some, like, probably wall ripping and stuff like that. I might have to move everything. And I don't like to move the plants around too terribly much, so I was just like, all right. Y'all are just going to have to chill until we get to that point. The pond, I can pull a pipe out of each one of these sides and it will collapse further in. So that'll make more space. As far as the big plants go, they've all just been hanging out. But it was nice getting to do the stuff with the shelves over there. I've done a little bit of rearranging, need to do some more. And the blinds keep folding up over there. I Maybe I need to pull them. They won't go up any further because I think that they're old and broken. But maybe it's if I lower them down more. And, oh, I don't know what's going on there. The plants up there seem fine though, so I'll just keep fiddling with that. Or again, once the heater's here, kitten, get the lights rigged up above it, and then that won't even be an issue. So exciting. Really looking forward to that heater getting here. Really just looking forward to next week, period. One, because it might snow, and I'm so excited. We will see if that happens. It'll be Turbo's first snow day if that happens. I'm going to take him over to his cousin's house. My sister has a puppy just like a few weeks younger than him. And they can run around and play. And, oh, how glorious will that be? Puppies in the snow? I mean, come on. How fun. It's supposed to be like 28 to 30 degree snow, which is, that's the good snow. When it snows, when it's like eight degrees outside, I don't get as excited because it's, it's too cold. You can't have fun with that. Can't let the dogs out, run around and play in that. And they won't enjoy it, at least not for very long. Hopefully that heater will get here and we'll be able to talk about that next week. And if everything goes according to plan, yeah, uh, 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 my brain stopped working. I was just about to say that I don't want to say what's going on next week because if the heater can't get installed, then then nothing's gonna happen. And with Omicron going around, I'm not going out, so I don't know. We'll figure that out. But if the heater can be installed, then I'll be pushing things around, getting the plants arranged. And, oh, it's gonna be so much fun. This new heater should be able to keep it warm enough in here that I can do seed starting and propagations in here. That will be so nice. I would need like fiber. Oh, 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 oops. <laughs> Fancy ass fan only works with a remote control. What's that about? How stupid. I was <laughs> saying I would need like five or six of these to even come close to being able to put out the kind of heat that the other, no, even more than that. What is math? Hold on. Well, <laughs> I would need 6.6666667 of these. How many sixes there were to equal this new heater? Yeah, oh, cannot wait. Okay, starting to feel my throat do the close up thing. So I'm gonna say goodbye. Thank y'all for hanging out. I know, weird kind of off sort of video because nothing really happened. I'm still trying to catch up, get back into the flow of things. Hopefully next week there will be things happening. If not the week after, we'll figure it out. It's a vlog. We just go with the flow. It doesn't matter. Hope everybody had a great holiday. Happy New Year. First video that I filmed this year. There have been other videos out. This is the first one for 2022. It feels nice to pick up the camera. I haven't talked to the camera in such a long time. I just noticed my microphone is hanging upside down. But hopefully y'all been able to hear me throughout this video. Yeah. All right, it's time to go. Okay, I said, Happy New Year. Hope everything's going well for you, and uh, I'll see y'all in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.